that when Israel launched its airstrike on April 1st on an Iranian consulate in the Syrian capital, which left seven dead to include a top and commanding general of the Iranian Revolutionary Guard Corps, nobody knew ahead of the hit to include the United States like it vehemently claims. Hardly any Western nation or U.S. allies spoke out to condemn what many consider an act of war. Hardly anybody cared except the Gulf states of UAE, Kuwait, Oman, Qatar and Saudi Arabia. But when Iran struck back two weeks later over the weekend with a direct assault at Israel entailing over 300 drone and ballistic missile strikes, the United States, Israel and its allies in the Western world wasted no time to condemn what was an unprecedented yet known assault that many media outlets claim the United States knew ahead of time, but pushes back it did. Though deemed a dismal failure by the United States and Israel for having intercepted 99% of the drone and missiles launched, the world is on edge even after a deluge of messages to Israel to restrain itself to retaliate and escalate a region-wide war. For now, Netanyahu's war cabinet is mum on any decision after their just-concluded meeting, but it is in Israel's DNA to strike back. It's eye for an eye, tooth for a tooth tradition enshrined in the Mosaic Law, and even disproportionately.